of them. They're tagged on the Trend uh, Live page. The hashtag is here, Mina. And finally, we saved the beauties for last. We wanted to make sure that your memory of the show is these lovely ladies who join me right now. Miss World Kenya, first runners-up, second runners-up, and of course, the crowned Miss World. World Kenya. I've got, um, uh, let me see if I can remember all of your names. This Shantu Kwamboka, she was the first runners up. And then we have Muihaki Njogu, yeah. second runners up. And then, of course, Miss World Kenya, the queen of the moment right now, <laughs> Sharon Obara. Welcome to studio, guys. Thank you so that much. That crowd looks really good on you. Let me just say that yeah. right now. Thank you so much. All right, so now, ladies, y'all look glamorous. Let me say that Thank first you. and foremost. <laughs> now, how did we get into modeling? Let me start with uh, let me start with Muihaki. Um, I started modeling back in high school because when people were asked, "What is your talent?" I didn't have a talent. I would always say I'm a model, mm -hmm. and then I would always get inspired by watching America's Next Top Model as a young child and watching Miss World as it was premiering at a young age. And that's basically how I was in inspired into modeling. Yeah. What yeah. about you, Sharon? I can say my journey in modeling started uh, a long time ago when I was a kid. I used to watch the pageants late at night. They used to air in local TV stations. Mm -hmm. So I'd sneak past my bedtime and watch. Then I officially started modeling in 2018. Yeah, that's when I took my first runway. Ah, yes. was it the same for you too? <laughs> Were you also just watching all of these pageants? Yes, yes, because it's been a passion since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I was talking all over in the house as a kid <laughs> yeah, and watching the Miss Universe, Miss World as a kid. Yeah, so I hit my first runway in high school and that's in 2012, where I contested for the Miss of my high school. Yes. Yeah, did you win? Well, I won Miss Kadika from one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a win. <laughs> that oh, was yeah. a win. I have a certificate. <laughs> yeah, that is a win. That is, yeah. that is definitely a win. A win. It's a win, yeah. Um, now, I know that you are, this is so interesting. When you tweeted that you were coming to the show, I yeah. saw comments <laughs> where people were like, oh, you're going to see Amina, you guys look alike. Yeah, I was like, I no, we do not. <laughs> She's a whole model. Every morning, is that true? People yeah, tell you friends, that. My friends tell me we look alike. Yeah, most of my friends. So today in my inbox, I'm like, finally going to meet you. Look alike. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to meet Amina finally. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. If I look like you, then it's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's because you all are all so beautiful. So that's that. I feel like that's a compliment to know to know yeah. me. Now, uh, for a lot of people, when they look at pageants, you know, they find it to be relatively easy. You know, that they, if you're cute, you make it to the end. But there's a lot of work yeah. at these boot camps. Um, what what are some of the things that you do, Sharon? Mm -hmm. So modeling. From when I grew up, I was always fascinated by the glitz, the glamour, the nice dresses, the long hair. But growing up and actually venturing into the industry, I realized it's not all that. There is actually beauty with a purpose, beauty with a brain. So each beauty queen is championing for a cause that is close to their heart. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about the different activities we hacky. Mm -hmm. You know, leading up to the actual pageant. Um, it's sometimes grueling, I understand it can be very challenging. Yeah. Um, tell me about the, your boot camp experience. Um, I'd like to say our boot camp was very interesting. We had fun moments, mm -hmm. but we equally had challenging moments where it was an emotional roller coaster. What people are feeling like I can't do this anymore. But it's majorly about our public speaking, our talent development, our Beauty with a Purpose projects, and at the end of the day, is how to carry yourself around as a beauty queen. Because even if you don't win, if you, even if you don't become a crown holder like our beautiful Sharon, you can still do other beautiful things as just being part of Miss World Kenya. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Like charities and yes, all of these yes. other things. Yes. Um, Shantu, what are some of the things that you do? Charity-wise. Charity-wise? Yeah. Uh, I, I run with an organization. It's called uh, Chapel Fest. I was with it since uh, in campus. So we visit our children's homes and go cook their chapatis for them and we eat and play with the kids. Yeah. Yeah, and just visiting children's homes and uh, donating. So we, we make a call for people to donate food, toiletries, clothes. 
anything that one is uh, open to, to donate and then we take them to the kids in need. Mm. Yeah, many, many and many, many things. Personally, I started a project called Operation Eden from the Garden of Eden. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we collect plastics in different plastic bottles from everywhere. Plastics are everywhere right now. So we, we plant, we mount the plastic bottles on walls, something called a green wall. It's actually existing. And then we plant flowers. So that way we've reused, reduced and recycled plastics at the same time. Uh -huh. So we are changing the environment and making it better and greener. Yeah. My lookalike is so nice, you guys. <laughs> hey, hey, that's really, really, that's really nice. Now, Sharon, what about you? Being crowned, I know that uh, it also comes with responsibilities. Now, yeah. is it a passion project for you, from you, or is it one that, you know, Ashley's or the organizers of Miss World Kenya are the ones who are going to tell you what to do? How does it work? So, personally, I have a project. I've been working with special education professionals. I have a soft spot for children living with uh, neurological and cognitive disorders. These are disorders such as epilepsy, Down syndrome, and autism. So, working with them, I realized that um, both the children and their parents, their caregivers, they undergo a lot of psychological tam turmoil because they are special and they need a lot of care. They, they need round-the-clock attention. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use this platform to deepen and broaden awareness on the issues surrounding these disorders because at the end of the day, it could happen to anyone. And they're not like that because of their own liking. So we need to accept them and take them as our own. And then we have been organizing social events where we have been having them dress up as who they'd want to be in the future. So if a little girl says, I'd like to be a princess, I'd like to be an engineer, we. We want to push them to pursue their passion. They should not be limited. They should all be taken as one. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Now when that little girl is saying she wants to be a princess, what do you see? <laughs> <Because> <laughs> it's cute. We're like, At that you know age. what? Yeah. Go for it. Go you will be that princess. <laughs> be that princess. Yes. Princess, aka baby girl, because I don't yes. know how <laughs> you become a princess here. But I love it. You know, it's all about just encouraging them to believe in themselves. Yes. You won a quarter of a million and a whole, you know, bunch of other things. Do you know what you're going to do with the money? Have you spent it yet? <laughs> uh, actually, I haven't spent it yet. I will receive it once I'm back Aha. from my international competition. Okay. So maybe in the meantime, uh, I can be strategizing on the projects that I want to push for. Push for. No problem. I'll give yeah. you my number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. give you my number. Now, Osoro, um, yeah. so this is, and I don't mean to be tribal in any way, right? Mm -hmm. So as we were talking, mm. um, they mentioned that they come from Kisi. Yes, I mean, now we're talking about the first of well cooked matoke, ambayo ime fichu amstuni kaivi auko. Yeah. So Sharon and uh, and Shantu are from are from where are you guys from? Where where are you from exactly? I know it's not where Usoro is from. I am oh, I'm so sure, but where are you from? <laughs> A place called Metamayu. Metamayu yeah, and yeah. Shantu? A place called Rigoma. Rigoma. Yeah. Unona Osoro. Si wakwenye. No. <laughs> Amina wasikudanganye. Si metamayuwa. Oh. And hapo <laughs> meja mesema ni Rigoma. Si Rigoma. Rigoma. Ae baba mata wancha moku waneke. Ene wano ki moku wancha laku ngayi nereje. Se TV gai gamo oh, na ibuwa mazobaro chenka moku ngayi nereje. Rigo. Rigoma. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, back to me in studio. Yeah. Back to myself in studio. Do you guys get this irritating question where you're told, Ati, Ati, where are you from? Do you get that? Because I see yeah, it a lot yeah, online. Yeah, it's, yeah. How irritating is it? Who said there's a specific way people look? That doesn't make I any know. sense. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, we hack you for you. Um, of course, you're not from all those things. Also, but just apparently said. in social media, everyone says I'm from their side. <laughs> that means going around, um, we haki kwamboka. Oh yeah, they've already given you a <laughs> name. Baptized me. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. umekubali pia wewe. Niko na wawo. <laughs> yeah. Sawa. Sawa. Yeah. Now, you, this is not all that you do. Yeah. You have a lot of other things that you do on the side, mm -hmm. including TV presenting. Is that yes, true? Yes. I'm a TV presenter. I do show hosting mm -hmm. and I'm very good at it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you should audition. Yeah, I should. My boss is watching. Okay. Should okay. I interview you? Um. <laughs> Amina, 
Yes, Osoro. I'm sorry. Mulini acha kisi. Tumekuacha. Acha say tumekuacha by the bye bro. Tumekuacha bado. Um so yes, I was telling you that uh my my boss is watching. You want to You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Okay, so I'm your guest. Uh-huh. Um and what is the name of your show? My name of the show I yeah. say the trend. No, that's right. Wonderful. The trend. Here we are. Here we okay. are. Take it away. Let's see what you Let's see what you can do. Hello guys, good evening. How are you? Thank you so much for yet again choosing to tune into the Trend Kenya. My name is Mwihai Kinjoga and today I have a fantastic guest in studio, Amina Abdi Rabba. You guys you know Amina represented us in Kenya to Nigeria the other day. We have to find out what Amina was doing in Nigeria and how far she took our flag, the Kenyan flag. <laughs> and right about now, Amina, how are you? I am so fine. Thank you so much, Mwihaki, for having me on your show. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. so much to the trend. Mm -hmm. I'm Mwihaki Njogo. I'm your host. I love your work so much, Amina. Oh, the other day you were in Nigeria. How was it for you representing Kenya in Big Brother? Oh, it was so African. nice. It was so nice. I loved the experience. Nigerians mm -hmm. are very welcoming. They're very receptive mm -hmm. um, to people who come from other countries. And yeah. they were just so kind. Um, it was an all-round humbling experience. And I was just so happy people enjoyed my work. I was blown away um, by, the, by the comments. It was very overwhelming. First See? of all, yeah. I'd like to say it looks so natural on your end. It does. <laughs> <laughs> like you literally went to Nigeria. That's so beautiful, Amina. Thank you so much, <laughs> Mihaki. Okay, you see, I see, I see that you got it. I see that you got it. What yeah. about you, Shantu? What do you do? Well, um, I'm still a student mm -hmm. at Tumaseno University. Mm -hmm. Shout out, the only university across the equator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I take uh, medical biotechnology with IT. I'm just about to graduate in December. I can't wait to wear the gown with my sash on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I play the violin, I skateboard, I teach uh, kids how to skateboard. I love it so much. And I'm training parkour, just walking on rooftops and doing flips on rooftops. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's saying it like it's yeah. casual, like all of us are just out here jumping on rooftops. When we look at you, I do not see this skateboard right now in this gown. Wait, but I, I saw you came with your violin, did you? Yes, I Oh, did. can you play it for us? Yes. Okay, so we need to get it to you. We need to get it to you. Um, all right, so as we, as we get the violin to you, Sharon, you're still in school. Yes, I am. All right, what are you doing and where do you study? I am a final year student at Kenyatta University. <laughs> pursuing a bachelor's degree in psychology. So other than that, I'm a model. I'm a marketer. I work with different brands to push sales, visibility, and all mm. that. I'm also a baker, and I am an animal lover. Hey, you are a hustler. Hustler. Out here hustling and making money. Nairobi, Nairobi. But that's how I manage to sustain myself through campus. I... I was doing a little jobs here and there, here and there. I was getting some money to make my hair, my nails. Was good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love it that all of you ladies have so much going on in your lives, and this is just but an add-on yeah. um, to the very busy schedules clearly that you have. Mm -hmm. um, and I see Shant was ready with her violin. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. All right. So DJ E, you're playing something. Yep. Oh, I love this collaboration. <laughs> <laughs>
taught her that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Soro, how do you say good job? In no, you can do it in two ways, Samina. Uh -huh. Either. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Or you can say Mbiamono. Or oh, oh, just Mbiamono yeah. is good job. I thought Mbiamono was like thin. Oh, it's just a general appreciation. Yes. Yeah. Do, so do you, does any one of you guys know how to speak? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sharon, where is it? Well, hey. we get a lot of criticism, you know, when you say Naskia. Mm -hmm. Like in Wongay. Yeah. Exactly. So also, don't want to skia how Wongay. Wongo. 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 I'm a bassoot. No, no. え、あ、ま、しゃらきにしわしよんが。いよにもとはめざやまらやきし、あめあざくらんばよがたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたたた
Aww. 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 Such a sweet wow. I wish you all the best, Sharon. Thank you, you so have much. such you know great vibes. Thank and you. You are all lovely, beautiful, very humble as well. Um, yes. And I wish you all the very best. Mwihaki, what about you? Your handles online for people who want to follow you. You can get me on the Mwihaki Njogu on all social media platforms. The Mwihaki Njogu. Yes. All right. Yeah. What about you, my lookalike? <laughs> <laughs> Do we look alike? Please tell us. Please tell us at the trend live hashtag mm -hmm. But yes. Yeah, my my social media account is Shantu Kwamboka in all social media platforms. Shantu is the C H. It's it's French. Yeah. Oh, it's French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what does it mean? A flower. Oh, a flower. Yeah. Oh my days. My parents really didn't give my my name much thought. <laughs> you know. You want to cover Shantu? Shantu si nijina kikisi. Ah. Kombo kando ya kikisi. Hata shantu. Kama nyanya angu alitua shantu. Haki shantu haki. Hata mayantu wengine uwa named after hawa naitua shantu. Sasa kwa kisi wana wita santu. Santu. Osoro. Leo, sijai kukona umeparticipate kwa interview. Tumefanya pamoja now almost three years I think. No, si hawa watoto wa nyumbani kabisa amina. And you know I have been seeing all this time. Amina, sija sikia ukisukuma agenda zangu huko. Wewe kidi akiwa hapa nimesukuma agenda zako. Amina. Kwa hiki pindi tutasahitika hache kama. We should look out for each other. We should look out for each other. Shara na mesaba ala ataka kufocus. So usijali. Ata ni ongele shishantu na mwihaki. I'm there to make sure she's feeling like a baby girl so that she can focus. Yes, I will. <laughs> I will. I wish you all the best, Sharon. Make Thank sure you, so you, you know, bring that crown home. We believe in you. We yeah. feel like you absolutely <laughs> have the looks. Like yeah. people have said online, you definitely have the brains. Thank so you. it's just a matter of aligning all of those things that you said have, you have to focus on. Yeah. Mentally, spiritually, physically, it's yeah. going to take a toll. But... I really believe in you and I wish you, you guys all the best. We hacky, hopefully one day we'll work together yeah, here yeah. at the best company ever, <laughs> nation. Okay? Yeah. And of course for Shansu, Shansu, what do you want to what do you want to do eventually? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm about to launch my podcast. It's called oh. uh, Operation Eden. So okay. every podcast where you can watch, uh, where you can listen to a podcast from, yeah. you can listen. It's launching on 9th of September. So All right, there you go. And if you want to learn how to skateboard, she said, <laughs> <laughs> to come roofs. Okay, to come my roofs. But thank you so much for coming through, thank ladies. You. I thank appreciate you. you waiting. You're here pretty early. So thank you so much for being patient. Thank you so much to Mviri and Kidi. Thank you so much to Muthoni from Oppo Kenya. Once again, the Oppo Reno 6 will be launching on Monday. They will be streaming all of this across all of their pages this is on twitter on instagram on youtube on facebook and you stand a chance to win you stand a chance to win phones you stand a chance to win watches and a lot of other goodies that they'll be having um uh, that you can win on the day plus they have some celebrities who are going to be unveiled as part of the Oppo kenya family and i can't wait to find out who they are thank you so much osoro are there any comments you want to read before we close out the show Mbiyamono amina mbiyamono gotebe kenega 